Florida spiny lobsters are delicious, but have you ever wondered where the lobster on your plate came from or how it got there? The species of lobster we catch in Florida is found around the Caribbean and around South America. In fact, it's very likely that the lobster on your plate in Florida had a very long and exciting journey from some faraway reef further south in the Caribbean to where it ended up getting caught in a lobster trap here in Florida and then wound up on your plate. How the heck did it do that? Well, it didn't walk here. That lobster you're eating? Well, her parents met at some lovely Caribbean reef where the male lobster did his best to impress the female lobster. And when she accepted his advances, they did a little mating dance where the male deposited a packet of sperm on her belly. When the female was ready, she fertilized the eggs, hundreds of thousands of them, and deposited them on her tail. And then she cared for them for about four weeks. When the eggs were ready to hatch, she walked out from the reef toward deeper water and released the hatching larvae into the currents. These currents then took the larvae out away from shore into the open ocean, where they rode the currents to their final destination. In your lobster's case, Florida. Your lobster drifted as a phylosome larva with other plankton in the currents and grew through many stages. After as many as nine months, the larva morphed into a post-larval, lobster-like form called a porulus. This porulus stage lasted only a few weeks and had one very important job, to make the treacherous journey from the open ocean to its settlement habitat near shore, evading predators all along the way. The post-larva followed various cues from the sound and smell of nearshore habitat to help her find her way to her new home along Florida's shorelines. When the Porulus arrived in the nearshore habitat, she started to gain color, looking more like a miniature lobster. This coloration helped the little juvenile to camouflage in with the seaweed she hid it. The juvenile lobster molted, shedding her hard exoskeleton many times and growing just a fraction of an inch each time. It probably took her about two years to grow to the legal size that you find there on your dinner plate. When the time was right and she had matured, the lobster moved from her home in the nearshore hard bottom, out past the seagrass toward the coral reef. Once she made it to the reef, she searched for a mate to start the process over. But at some point, your lobster was caught and wound up on your dinner plate.